What's up, everybody? Sheeps here, back from video. Today, we're going to be talking about The Miracle Morning. It's another book review. I know I've been doing a lot lately, but I want to get the book reviews out there as I read them. And, uh, you know, because it's good information. Honestly, this is another good book. I like it. Um, so how does reviews work here? You guys know we're going to go over the main points, what I take away from it, what I think is the most important. If you like it, there's a link in the description to buy it off of Amazon. And if you want to support the channel, um, the link, if you buy anything off of Amazon with that link, I get a small cut um, for most categories. So let's get into the book review, The Miracle Morning. So what is it about? It's about mornings. Yes. <laughs> uh, kind of obvious from the title there. It's about starting your day off right. So the main uh, philosophy from this book or the main idea that this guy is incorporated into his life is that if you start your morning off correctly, then the rest of the day will, it'll be easier for it to all fall into line because you're starting off with something with discipline. You're doing something, you're getting something done, you're achieving something first thing in the morning. And so you already feel good about that day to start with. And I like it, and I've been doing it for myself. I'm doing a smaller version. I'm going to do like a larger version of it, but we'll get into that. So he, first off, he starts the book with personal experience. He has a pretty interesting life. Um, he was doing pretty well. He had a good life. He had a girlfriend and all that. Tragic car accident, lost his girlfriend. Uh, not to death. They broke up. <laughs> um, and But he was severely injured. And it was, it was pretty gruesome to read, honestly. He went into detail. Uh, and other struggles, like he struggled during the recession. He lost a lot of his business, his clients. And he talks about those things and incorporates them into different chapters. But it starts off main with, like, you know, a lot of self-help, a lot of the same things you hear in a lot of these books. And at, at first I was a little apprehensive to read it because I was thinking, you know what, I've already read, like, some self-help books. How is this going to help? And... As I was reading it, I realized something, and also he points this out in the book. It's not just about reading it one time. It's not like with anything else, when you read it one time or you see it one time, it's not enough for your brain. There's so much going on unconsciously. You need to really look at the information a lot of times, absorb it. And the other thing is, as a staff from this book, he gives 95% of people don't implement what they read. So you read it, it goes through your brain, and it's kind of out of your brain. That is another very important reason I'd say, even if you've already read self-help books, I think this is a good book and you should check it out. Um, it's important to continually keep it up because as I was reading it, I was looking back at some of the things and I was thinking, wait a minute, I didn't implement that. I actually, I, I'm like, I agree with it. And then I'm like, wait, I'm not even doing that. I need to do that still. So it was a really good reminder to read this book and help me keep me on track of where I want to be, and, you know, fulfilled emotionally, all that stuff. And it's a very good reminder to continually read this stuff. He says, like, for an example in the book, I think he talks about science or something like that. You know, you need to really get the information down in your head. It's with any subject. It, you know, whatever example you want to use, uh, music or anything, you need to really be there. And it's why would self-help and, you know, accepting yourself and trying to have a good life for yourself be any different? You need to continuously work on it. It's not ending. So what is his main thing also? He also says most people live day to day by taking the path of least resistance, avoiding discomfort that would help them grow, and taking short and easy pleasures. Wow, that is a great one, I think. And it's really a reminder, are you leading your life? You know, just whatever is least resistance, flowing like the river? Uh, that's actually, an old, that is a philosophy of life from Chinese philosophers, an ancient one, I don't remember which one. Um, but I don't think it's a good one <laughs> um, because you should be going for whatever life you want to live and striving for what goals you want to go to. Or are you just kind of letting life take you by? Are you just passing by? You're not really, you're passive. I'd say a lot of people are very passive in their lives and they're just going about whatever is easiest. So how do you wake up motivated in the morning? Well, you need to have purpose. You can't just be flowing. You need to have a reason. Why am I waking up? What's making me excited? And that's the important thing. So when I read that, I wrote down, I start writing purposes in my life, what I want to achieve, and what I'm working towards every day. And you know what? I can't even tell you what I wrote there without reading it again. So again, go as repetition. Don't do it just one time. Don't write down your purpose. You should know it. You should reread it and rethink why you're waking up in the morning. What is motivating you? So I actually am going to probably do that again after I do this video because I can't remember even what I wrote down. I mean, I know a couple, but I wrote multiple things down and I should know those things and I should know what I'm working towards every day. So 
what is the miracle morning? The miracle morning is basically just a morning routine. That's all it boils down to. And it sounds very simple, but that is his, like I said, his thing is if you start the morning off right, then you should have a good day. So what does it include? Meditation, um, visualization, affirmations, exercise, journaling. Um, those are the main parts of it. So far, what I've done is meditation, affirmation, visualization, some exercise, and um, oh, and reading. I forgot about reading. So you can do it in any way you want. There's not a specific way you need to do your morning, but it's more about just getting up, having a discipline, not checking your phone, not that instant gratification of, I'm bored. Let me let me look at something immediately that fills my brain with thoughts. Have you you guys noticed that on Instagram? That's why again, path of least resistance. Are you just scrolling? Like you just can't get off the app. Least resistance. You're already doing it. It's easy. Just keep scrolling. It's entertaining. It keeps your brain entertained, but it's not doing anything for you. So uh, meditation. That's pretty self-explanatory. I'm not going to go into how to meditate or anything like that. Uh, there's different styles too. Visualization. So you need to think about how your day is going to go and hopefully think about it from a positive aspect. Think about you enjoying what you're doing or, or doing it well or just completing it in a timely manner if you don't enjoy doing it. Um, so it's starting off priming your brain in a way that the unconscious mind is already thinking in a positive way. Um, then we have affirmations and I really like affirmations. Go ahead and say something out loud that you want to achieve or a dream that you have or something and see how it feels to say it. Do you believe yourself when you say that? Because when I do affirmations, or the first time I did an affirmation, I didn't believe it. You don't believe it the first time. You almost want to laugh. So that just shows you, you think you do it, but the unconscious part of your mind is thinking no. Because you can think this whole time, yeah, I want to do this, I want to do this, but say it out loud and see how you react. Even just say, I'm a good person, or do you buy it 100%? Or is part of your brain saying, well, you've done this, this, and this, you're not a good person because of this. There is a lot going on in your brain and that you're not consciously thinking about. So this is a really good one. I really like affirmations. And you have to do it every single day. Otherwise, it's, again, repetition. We also we really like repetition in our brains. So I actually wrote down a, like a list of a couple affirmations. It can be goals. It can also be daily. It could just be, I'm going to have a good day. I'm going to succeed in this and today. I'm going to feel fulfilled doing this today. And then it also could have one long-term one. So again, the Miracle Morning is very much up to your own interpretation of how you want to spread the time. He recommends an hour to do it. I have a six-minute version if I'm an extremely busy day, like maybe I need to get up really early f uh, to do something. Um, but otherwise, I've been doing about 30 minutes, and I'm going to extend that quite a bit when I start exercise. I'm going to add an hour exercise before. So I'm going to do exercise, meditation, visualization, affirmations, and probably about 30 minutes of reading. This will help me really keep on track. I want to read a book a week and then do a review of every single book. So that will be the 52 in a year if everything goes well. Maybe more. Honestly, I'd like to read even more than that. Um, but with classes, it might get be a lot. I might just do, or I could maybe if the book that I'm reading for class is really interesting, I could do that. But it doesn't tend to be the case. <laughs> for all of them. So, <laughs> um, yeah, that is the main points, takeaways. Oh yeah. If you want to check out the miracle morning, like I said, you can use the link in the description down below to Amazon. He also has a website. You can learn more for free there. And another important thing to remember is accountability. Very, very important. Uh, 95% of people don't take in what they read. Remember that if you write it down, it becomes more probable that you'll take it in. If you write it down, say it out loud, it becomes more probable. If you write it down, say it out loud and you know, uh, make a time limit to for you to complete it, it becomes more probable. But the best thing you can do is tell somebody else you're doing it. Get somebody else who's doing a miracle morning with you, waking up an hour earlier than they need to and completing or in working towards their goal. Like I said, wake up with a purpose. Otherwise, you won't be motivated to do any of the miracle morning. So um, I forget what it is. I think it's like you'll actually have like a 75% chance of doing it or something if you tell someone else you're doing it and they're there with you. So those are a lot better odds than 5%. Okay, guys, that's going to wrap up this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a drop down below. If you're watching on Steam it or on um, Steam or Steam Leo, make sure you drop a upvote if you guys want to see more book reviews and stuff like that. Thank you guys for watching as always, and I will see you guys next time.